Hello again, fellow monster rock and rollers. This is your fiend Aiden, and I'd say it's about time we celebrate horror music around here. Whether you listen to classic rock, heavy metal, punk, goth, whatever, if it's got monsters and kicks ass, you better believe we'll enjoy it around these parts. So let's start off our putrid playlist with the sickos who kicked off the horror punk craze and are still rocking to this day, whenever they want our money, the Misfits. Although I had wanted to keep this portrait series limited to one person or character at a time, I was really torn between whether or not to draw Glenn Danzig or Jerry only. I'm sure most fans out there would prefer Danzig, but honestly, both of these guys are so important to the group that I respect them equally. I decided to do both, but as you can see in the pencil stages here, I then said, what the hell, there's a little room in there, so why not squeeze in Jerry's brother, Doyle Wolfgang von Frankenstein. Now, before you hardcore fans start saying, well, where's all the rest of them? Where's Manny Martinez, or Michael Graves, or Des Cadena, or Mikey Ramone, or... Ugh. Look, three is plenty. Drawing one character this fast can be stressful enough. Okay, so why did I choose to start with the Misfits? The answer, I guess, is that they're a great introduction to horror music. Their songs are great, quick, short, and memorable, and recall a lot of great imagery from classic horror movies and television. These guys know the monster craze inside and out, and kept it alive with their songs paying homage to Night of the Living Dead, Horror Hotel, Return of the Fly with Vincent Price, and so much more. Yeah, they also sang about killing babies, raping mothers, and shooting presidents, but we'll just stick to the monsters for this video. I was lucky enough to see these guys during one of their reunion tours when they played at the farm in Englewood, and they put on an amazing freaking show. That particular night, poor Danzig was suffering from a pretty bad cold or something because whenever he spoke, he sounded like he was dying. His heart's hurt! His heart! His heart! But when the music started, he sounded incredible. I got something to say! These guys were unbelievable, so if you get a chance to catch them in concert, definitely do so. So here's to celebrating the band that taught us, maybe through reverse psychology, that there's never such a thing as too much horror business. Thank you for being part of the show. If you enjoyed this video, please visit the bookstore at scapulacomic.com. There you'll find the complete Dada Hyena's Creature Show book series, showcasing my art of all of your favorite monsters. Yeah, even that one. You'll also meet Scapula, the world's worst villain, in his wickedly hilarious comic book adventures. Help support Weird Art and the weird artists who make it, and we'll share great frights and fun. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs>